Is it time for bed yet? When Elmo finished his dinner, the first thing he said was, Is it time for bed yet? Why, Elmo? asked Elmo's daddy. Why do you want to go to bed so early? Usually, you want to stay up as late as you can. Usually, you find reasons not to go to bed. Not tonight, Elmo said. Tonight, I want to hurry up and go to sleep. So that tomorrow, we'll be here sooner. Tomorrow is the day that Grandpa's going to take me fishing. That is true, said Elmo's daddy. But it seems very early to go to bed. Unless you are tired. Are you tired, Elmo? No, said Elmo. But Grandpa said I have to get up very early in the morning. I will make myself tired so that so Elmo did twenty jumping jacks, and he touched his toes thirty times. Do you think I'm tired yet? Asked Elmo. Asked his daddy. I don't know. He said, you, you, "Only you know if you are tired, Elmo." Maybe I could have my bath now," said Elmo. "Said Elmo. Sometimes a bath makes me sleepy." All right," said Elmo. "Daddy, he filled the tub with warm water. Elmo, Daddy, washed the fur on Elmo's back, head, and behind his his." Yes, well, Elmo splashed and played with his tugboat and his monster bath sponge. When Elmo was all dry, his daddy helped him put on his pajamas. Now, do you? Do I look tired? Asked Elmo. You look a little. You look like a little monster who's ready for bed. Said Elmo's daddy. As Elmo climbed into bed, he said, "I have a wonderful idea. I will eat breakfast now, and then get dressed in my going fishing clothes and sleep in them. And then, when Grandpa comes to get me in the morning, I will be all ready to go." Elmo's daddy laughed. No, Elmo," he said. "That is not a wonderful idea. If you eat breakfast now, you will be hungry again in the morning, and you will be very un un uncomfortable sleeping in your jeans and shirt and rubber boots." Oh," said Elmo sadly. Daddy tucked Elmo in and said, "Lie there quietly and listen while I tell you the story about the time my grandpa took me fishing when I was a little monster." So Elmo Daddy told him how he and his grandpa had rowed a little boat on a beautiful silent lake. He told him about. He, hearing birds singing in the early morning, and above seeing silver-colored fish jumping and splashing in the water. As Daddy told the story, the sun sank slowly, and long evening shadows stretched across the room. Elmo closed his eyes. Soon. He was asleep and dreaming about silver-colored, colored fish jumping and splashing in the water on a beautiful, silent lake.